Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a case of endometrial hyperplasia. Patient is aged about 36 years and married having three children. On pelvic ultrasound, endometrial hyperplasia is characterized by homogeneous increase in the endometrial thickness in the majority of the patients. However, endometrial hyperplasia may also cause asymmetrical focal thickness with surface irregularity which should raise a suspicion for malignancy. Biopsy of the uterine lining is the definite test for the diagnosis of hyperplasia. Women with abnormal bleeding should be evaluated with a pelvic ultrasound. In postmenopausal women, the ultrasound is used to assess the thickness of the lining. Now you can see in this case the endometrial thickness is increased and it is almost 22 millimeter as you will see the measurement it is 22 millimeter Endometrial hyperplasia is a histological diagnosis often made after sampling endometrium that appears thickened on pelvic ultrasound. It is defined as irregular proliferation of endometrial glands with an increased ratio of gland to stroma. Now the symptoms of the endometrial hyperplasia include abnormal vaginal bleeding including bleeding or spotting between the menstrual periods. Dramatic change in the duration of the menstrual periods, postmenopausal bleeding, or heavier menstrual bleeding flow. In some instances, endometrial hyperplasia may precede cancer of the uterus. Now, the normal values of the endometrial thickness are during periods, it is 2 to 4 millimeter. Early proliferative phase, it is 5 to 7 mm. Late proliferative phase, it is up to 11 mm. And in the secretory phase, it is up to 16 mm. Beyond these diameter, the endometrial thickness will be considered as increased. Endometrial hyperplasia is a condition of the female reproductive system. The lining of the uterus, that is endometrium, becomes unusually thick because of having too many cells, that is hyperplasia. It's not cancer, but in certain women, it raises the risk of developing endometrial cancer, a type of uterine cancer. Now, the thickness of the endometrial lining is rarely over 4 mm in a woman post-menopause. In pre-menopausal women, the thickness varies with the phase of the menstrual cycle as I have described earlier, but the maximum thickness will be less than about 16 mm even in the secretory phase. Women with an endometrial thickness between 7 to 8 mm had a decreased pregnancy rate, but no significant difference was shown when compared to patients with endometrial thickness in 8 to 14 millimeter. Implantation is necessary for a successful pregnancy and requires healthy endometrial receptivity. The endometrial hyperplasia has a cyst, cystic lace-like appearance on ultrasound. Endometrial polyps manifest focal areas of endometrial thickening and the stalk of the polyp may be seen if sufficient fluid is present in the endometrial cavity. Endometrial hyperplasia is a condition in which the endometrium, the lining of the uterus, becomes abnormally thick. Although endometrial hyperplasia is not cancer, it can lead to uterine cancer in some women. Endometrial hyperplasia is usually caused by an excess of estrogen with progesterone. Both are the female hormones. 
Ultrasound is often one of the first tests used to look at the uterus, ovaries and fallopian tubes in the woman. Thanks for watching. You can find some important information in the description of this video. Please subscribe my channel. Thanks.